Hey y'all, work here. Today, we've got a little bit of an interesting video. Um, I wanted to figure out how to mod my Jackbox game, uh, Madverse City, so that my players could write their entire rhymes. Um, this is a thing that you may have seen on Twitch. If you've played Jackbox on Twitch, you might have seen people playing Modverse City. Um, and so I went to look and find out how to do it and realized there's not really any good guides for it. So I decided to make this guide and um, I will uh, help you the way I helped myself. So Modverse City, first of all, what is Modverse City? Well, Modverse City is uh, basically, uh, it is modifying the files of Madverse City and Jackbox Party Pack 5 to allow you and your players to write your full rhymes on all four, uh, lines. So normally in Madverse City, uh, you write a full rhyme on the second and the fourth lines. On the first and the third rhymes, uh, you write just one word, which then you choose to rhyme from. So Modverse City removes that and just lets you write your entire rhyme on lines one, two, three, and four. So let's check out how to do that. Let's dive right in. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go and find your files. So on your computer, it might be different, but on my computer, I save all my games to my D drive. If you save your games to your C drive, you're just going to do that on C instead. But mine's on D. So here we go. You're going to click Steam. You're going to go to Steam apps. You're going to go to common. You're going to find your Jackbox Party Pack 5, here it is, games, and then rap battle. The first thing you're going to want to do is go into content, grab these three rounds, because these are the ones that we're going to be editing, although we might edit a little bit more. You're going to grab these three rounds and copy them, and then you're going to want to go up and make a backup of these just in case you always want to back up if you're messing with files make a backup up here I just named it backups of originals and you paste it right into here um, so what do these files look like well basically what we're gonna do is we're going to want to open these with um, notepad so they start out as these files called jet files you just want to open them with notepad so this is what it looks like when you open them with notepad a little bit daunting i agree um but don't worry this is what you normally see when you open them with notepad um and that's fine we're uh we're not going to really look at that we're just going to keep that there uh in its normal uh uh, uh way uh, in a backup but in our actual prompt here this is what mine look like this is what they look like a lot easier to work with um so how did i get mine to look like this well i went when i was researching for uh this um uh how to make my thing into mod verse this is literally the only thing i had to work with and uh, it sort of tells you about it thanks to dpkm katir a year ago for this although honestly i didn't really use this that much I just use this for these files that he that he puts in here so he has these files in paste bin I copied all of this then downloaded it right here and then I opened this in a text file and went over and pasted it into here now the files that they give don't do anything all they do is set it up to look like this and um, once you have it looking like this, you are going to go into the file here and you're going to go down to where these blanks are. You see where it says blank here? These are actually the prompts that you are given. And all you got to do is delete them. That's all you have to do. However, there are a lot of them. So you might be here for a bit. Uh, I will try to put my files in here at the end to help y'all out, but yeah, that's all you got to do. You go in and you delete every instance of blank. So you type blank, you find next, and uh, you just delete. You delete each one. Now, there might be a better way. Some of you programmers out there might know a, just like a trick to automate this. I'm not a programmer. I don't have any of that skill. I just go in and literally deleted every single one. Now, obviously these aren't deleted, but they they need to be. I will go through and delete all these when I'm done, but 
Uh, that's all you got to do uh, to mod your Madverse City in order to um, in order to have it so that you can do both the rhymes. Now, one more cool and awesome, interesting little thing you can do for your community on Twitch is you can go in to all of these. You can actually change the building names. There are different building names. You can make these names of your subscribers, members of your community that, that are uh, very uh, influential or just like, you know, your friends and stuff. You can go in and change these building names. Additionally, that ticker tape thing that runs on the bottom of your game, you can make that say different stuff. You can add stuff. You can do as much as you want to modify your game to make it more community friendly for you. All you got to do is go in and literally just type whatever in here. And then uh, when that comes up, you'll see that for your community. Anyway, uh, that is Modverse City. I just wanted to make this video because there's no guides out there. Um, and uh, yeah, I had to do it myself. So now hopefully this will help somebody out there. Anyway, y'all, my name has been working Kakinter. You can call me work. I'm live every weekday over at Jackbox, uh, or playing Jackbox over on my Twitch TV channel. Um, so if you're interested, come stop by. Also, we have got a giveaway this month uh, for a Jackbox Party Pack 7 uh, Steam code. So if you are interested in that, all you gotta do is comment on any of my videos made during this month. I know I've been kind of slacking this month. I have only two videos up this month, but hopefully I can get at least one or two more. Um, but yeah, all you gotta do is comment and uh, you can get your chance to win that game at the end of this month. Anyway, thanks for being here and uh, hopefully this helps. See you next time. Later.